All right, thank you very much. Megan, well, the holidays can be, believe it or not, a dangerous time for your pets. Joining us this morning with more uh, tips on that is uh, Dr. Jerome Williams, one of our regulars, and also Dr. Brant Tolbert to explain. Good to see you guys this morning. Good hey, to be you here. Doing? And you both got your hands full. Yes. Yeah. yes uh, you've got Jillian, and this is Conrad? Conrad, yes. Con yeah. Conrad cute, y'all? <laughs> He's just a python. <laughs> How long you had uh, Conrad here? Uh, just since July. I adopted him from somebody who couldn't keep him anymore. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, now let, let's talk about, first of all, like, you know, cats and dogs. That's going to be the norm most no the normal pet <laughs> right, in the household. Right. Now, talk about some of the dangers that, that well, they Well, this face. time of year, you know, with the festive season and all the different foods and decorations and stuff, Dr. Talbot at the Emergency Animal Clinic on Acton Road mm -hmm. see a lot of cases that have caused problems. Right. right. Uh, what are you seeing mostly, Doctor? Um, the most common thing is, is foods that they're not used to eating. Mm -hmm. You know, rich, fatty foods can really cause a lot of GI upset and pancreatitis, which in severe cases can be deadly. Right. Um, decorations are a big problem as well. Mm -hmm. You know, tinsel, anything that's new to their environment is going to draw their attention. They're going to get into it more. Talk about some of the things that can happen too with plants too, because uh, obviously we love our holiday plants. They're festive and all that, but they, they can be poisonous or dangerous mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. You know, mistletoe is fairly, fairly toxic. Um, mm -hmm. Poinsettias actually are not as toxic as kind of the reputation goes. They can cause upset stomachs and, and irritated mouth if they chew on it, mm -hmm. but um, some of the lilies are really dangerous to cats. So there's, there's actually more dangerous stuff than poinsettias out there. Hmm. Now, you, when you, you, the, you, you think about kids too, <coughs> they gotta, you gotta be, you gotta watch your kids yeah. because you don't know what they're gonna be given to them. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And one of the things I've seen this time of year is yarn a tinsel, mainly yarn with cats. They like to play with it, mm -hmm. and they'll swallow it. Next thing you know, you got a, a an obstruction problem where you have to do surgery. Electrical cords. You mm -hmm. think about all the different things. You got you got ribbons. Yeah. You know, even wrapping paper. That's right. Start carrying it that and start eating it. Yeah. Um, now, and you and you may be you may be tempted because a, a dog's going to want to eat anything, to give them chocolate, or or something yeah. like cookies or whatever. And you touched on it, but that that can really make them sick. Yeah, chocolates, especially the baking chocolate, is is a uh, it's very toxic. Especially eat enough of it, it causes an extreme, basically a caffeine high. So it causes mm -hmm. arrhythmias. They get their body temperature up. They can actually have seizures with it, and it can be deadly. Okay. Um, you know, raisins and cookies and, and cakes are are dangerous because they can cause a renal to kidney toxicity as well. And now, for, for if you have a, happen to have a python in your house, uh, what do you need to keep the python away from? <laughs> well, usually the python is going to be in a confined area. Right, yeah. So is usually the biggest problem you're going to have with a, with reptiles is husbandry, which is how they're kept in their cages. As mm -hmm. long as they're, the lighting's right, the heating's right, you should be okay with those guys. You're yeah. not seeing many of those at the emergency clinic, are you? Um, not very often. Because usually it's more of a chronic problems they have. So right. every once in a while we'll see injuries from like they're eating a live, mm -hmm. being fed live prey for the body or something right. like that. But I want, to, I want you to remind folks too, because we talked about this before Thanksgiving, about the types of bones you can give dogs. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, we, we recommend giving no bones. I mean, right. that's the safest way to do. But uh, if you do, then you be very careful to give something so big, like a, a soup bone, where they're just going to get small pieces of it. But some dogs cannot tolerate any bones at all. Right. So if you do and they get obstructed with them, mm -hmm. or get sick with them, then you're going to be seeing uh, Dr. Talbert at the emergency clinic in the right. middle of the night. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, y'all have a good holiday. Always and Merry Christmas. You. All right, JJ's up next. Here we go.